We are ready for seven minutes of seed. I'm so glad that you're joining me. And this has been so life-giving. Everyone has seven minutes to be encouraged, to be stretched, to be strengthened, and to be given the tools needed to make the Word of God real in our homes, in our families, through our kids, and first, through us. So I am Pastor Kate. Let me see if I can get this up there for you. And I'm coming to you from RootBible.com. And I would encourage you to subscribe to the podcast where you'll catch these seven minute seeds every day, seven minutes, seven days a week. So check that out. And also, you know, today we're going to be talking about uh, thoughts, thinking, either belief or unbelief. And we're going to be hitting this hard in our 21 day um, reboot class. I would encourage you to check that out, rootbible.com slash reboot. This is an hour a day for 21 days, live and interactive, where we reboot thinking to the supernatural realm, which is what we will be spending our seven minutes talking about today. Helping our homes be rooted in the Word of God in faith. So uh, um, putting out unbelief minute by minute all day, every day, building our homes on faith alone. So let's go ahead and get started and put the timer on the clock. This is what we'll be talking about all week long. Here we go. Seven minutes of seed. So we're talking about faith. What is faith according to Hebrews 11? My uh, boys have just memorized this verse, Hebrews 11.1. 1. This is in the Amplified Classic. Now, faith is the assurance, the confirmation, the title deed of the things we hope for, being the proof of things we do not see and the conviction of their reality. Faith perceiving as real fact what is not revealed to the five senses. Now, if you've been tuning into the seven minute seed or the rootbible.com adult classes, we have been talking about the dominion of light, which is the one you dwell in once you receive Christ Jesus, or the dominion of darkness. And we know that this earth has to be recreated because the earth itself is under the dominion of darkness, where we don't put our hand or our foot as being authors now of the dominion of light because he lives in us. It is a fallen world. It is a sinful world. Anyone without Christ is under the dominion of sin and darkness. And you're like, this sounds like a sci-fi movie. No, this is the Bible. And so when we're talking about this in our homes, we are either talking about faith or we're talking about unbelief. We're either talking about faith in the dominion of light of where we have been seated in Christ next to God at the right hand in Christ Jesus or the dominion of darkness where we participate in the same things that come from a world without God, right? So which one is it? How do you make that real in our home? You know, with each semester in in Root Bible, we have these cool things called table talk. And that's where I'll be pulling a lot of what we're talking about today. You can get those free when you register free at rootbible.com. We like to make it a reality. And one of those things is around the table. You see that all throughout the word of God, making Christ, remembering Christ, breaking bread together and communing together around the table or the the home where you would eat a meal. Okay. That was friends. That was family. It was gathering together around a meal. And then while you're doing that, remembering who he is, breaking bread together, taking communion together, we'll do a seven minute seat on that one of these days. But today we're talking about dispelling unbelief. And in order to do this in our children and in our homes, it's going to be a minute by minute, um, kingdom oriented, rooted attack on anything that is five senses that challenges the truth of God. So one of the first things we can use is 1 John 2.17, and this is on our table talk, the free download. The world and its desires pass away, but the man who does the will of God lives forever. What is the will of God? 
The will of God is being obedient in all things in Christ Jesus, being obedient to the word of God. So I give this scripture to you first before we continue the rest of these seven minute seeds, because this lays out why we want to draw our children, draw our own hearts, draw our homes back to the word on a continual basis, because I don't want to draw any opinion out of my five senses. I want all of my opinions opinions, all of my speakings and thinkings to come from the word of God, because there, there, all of the desires of the world will pass away because I will be doing the will of God. First John 2, 17, the world and its desires will pass away, but the man who does the will of God will last forever. So my boys are, are memorizing Hebrews 11, 1. That's the one we started with of what faith is. Faith is outside of the five senses in our in our bodily realm, right? Connected with our soul. So uh, touch, sight, hearing, taste, smell, all right? It is determining the word of God, not by those things. So that means I don't believe the word of God when I feel it, when I see it, when I only hear it, when I only smell it. You know, it's saying... The word of God is true whether my five senses are in tune with it or not. And when I believe the word of God is true, it will come into the sense realm. Now that seems unlikely, doesn't it? When we conceive it with our own natural mind, yet when we point to 1 John 2, 17, the world or the dominion of darkness and its desires will pass away. That's why we won't spend eternity in heaven. You can tell your kids this. We can know that heaven will be brought to a new earth. Why? Because the earth will have to be recreated. It's dying under the weight of the dominion of darkness. But we, his kids, can preserve it while we're here. We can preserve longer so that the the children of God can be reached. Those Every single soul can hear the truth and choose the dominion of light if they want to. Now, how do we make that real in our homes on a, on a daily basis? Say, hey, is this a desire coming out of your flesh alone? Or is this a desire uh, rooted in the will of God, his word? Well, let's find out. Let's ask the Holy Spirit. Let's go check this out in the word of God. You know, under our freebie section at rootbible.com, we have a um, red, yellow, green light. It's where we can go with... Um, feelings we're feeling, thoughts we're having, and then we can see what the word says about them. And they're the most often ones we seem to encounter in our homes, like anger or bitterness or jealousy. And then what does the word say when we're feeling these things, when we're sensing these things? And then we can turn and say, wow, that's that's my own desire, God. What do you want? Do, what do you want my desire to be? Because I want my desire to be your desire. So when we're correcting our children, when we're guiding ourselves and our kids, we can say, okay, is this a world's desire thing? Am I putting my focus on a world's desire or am I focusing on the will of God? Because I know that's what will last forever. I know when I put the kingdom first, that he will give me the desires of my heart. Because when I put his kingdom first, then he will fill my heart with the desires they should have. So So today, when you're talking with your kids, when you're encouraging yourself, do a check. Hey, is this coming from my five senses? Am I relying on my own five senses to determine how I feel about this situation, what I think about this situation? Or am I I really basing this on the will of God? And am I leaning in and trusting the will of God? And am I dispelling unbelief by putting faith in the word of God over my feelings or my five senses? Am I dispelling the kingdom of darkness by putting faith in the word of God and not in what this fallen world uh, has available for me to see or feel or, or know? And we just keep encouraging our kids. Where is that thinking coming from? Where are those feelings coming from? Is that coming from our new recreated selves, the seed of Christ in us, the dominion of light? Or is that coming from our five senses that are based in this fallen world? You can do it this week. Check in with yourself and remind yourself of Hebrews 11, 1 and 1 John 2, 17. I love to hear your feedback on this, and I can't wait till we check back in tomorrow for seven more minutes of seed. Everyone has seven minutes. 
I pray a blessing upon you and your home until we meet again with the word of God as our encouragement, building faith and dispelling unbelief. Blessings.